What do you want? I couldn't help hearing some seriously dragging feet on the way to your room. Except, dude. Could you keep a secret from mom and dad? <laughs> what are big sisters for? There is a boy in my class who asked me out two weeks ago. Well, you have a boyfriend now? You're growing up so fast these days. Shut up. I'm already 13. And you're like four years older than me. <laughs> okay, okay. So what's the problem? Does he like stink or something? No way. Are you kidding me? Give me some credit here. Well, well, well. Not too bad, sis. Oh, what kind of jersey is he wearing? Ice hockey. It's ice hockey. Now give me back my phone. Huh. No, no, don't look. Hold the phone, Pip. Is he pressuring you? It started on Monday. He keeps trying to get me to go a little bit further on my kissing, but it's too much and I'm not sure what to do. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You don't have to do anything you don't want to do. Have you been taught about consent yet? Well, yeah. I mean, a little bit at least. Even if you don't give him a reply, that's not considered consent. He can't touch you without your consent, period. He's got to explicitly ask you and you have to respond with a yes. Otherwise, he's breaking your trust. And, you know, the law. Oh, I didn't know that much. Look, if he's pressuring you, that totally isn't Oh? Heck no. That's called coercion. If he coerces you into doing something you're not comfortable with, that's considered rape. Really? Even if he's my boyfriend? It doesn't matter, boyfriend or not. But if he's your boyfriend, he should totally care about what you want. He should care as much about what you do and don't want as he cares about himself. If you don't want to go any further than kissing, you don't have to, no matter who says what. You both have to actively want to do that kind of stuff, you know? Also, the second drugs or alcohol are added into the mix, it's always a no-go. If either of you are high or drinking, you cannot consent. Period. That makes a lot of sense. I guess I just don't talk about it much since it's, you know, kind of awkward. All that sexual stuff. Don't get me wrong, that kind of stuff can be a really, uh, well, a really positive experience. It can be a lot of fun with the right person, if you both want it. But they don't get to decide for you. And hey, you don't get to decide for them either. It's okay to not feel ready yet, too. A lot of communication needs to happen between both of you. Communication? That makes sense. It's just so hard to talk to him, though, when he's so upfront about it. Oh, jeez! That's no good. He's so pushy. How old is this guy anyways? He's in the ninth grade. Only a year ahead of me. Whoa. Since when are you into older guys? <sighs> Come on, Eve. You know I'm just poking fun. Come on. Huh. Do you know about the laws of consent, Pip? Well, a little bit. Kinda. Makes sense you don't. It actually varies state to state, but it's basically a law stating when a person is old enough in the eyes of the law to make the choice to even consent to sexual contact in the first place. Wait, there's laws about that? Sure are. It's different in every state, but you could totally Google it. Like, for example, here in New York State, the official age of consent is 17. But if a person is between the age of 13 and 16, they can consent with someone who's up to four years older than them. So I guess Steve is off the hook for that at least. That makes one stupid thing he's done right. It's all right, you'll learn in time. Heck, I dated a couple duds before I found my boyfriend. Totally worth it though. Oh, is that the one with the bright blue car? I always see you sneaking off into. Um, Pip, I'm keeping quiet about your boyfriend, so cut me some slack here. <laughs> there he is. Pretty hot, huh? You're dating a total rocker wannabe. He is such a gentleman and a sweetheart. And he actually listens to me, too. 
You can't get more quality than that. <laughs> yeah, sure. Oh, that reminds me. You know, sexual contact doesn't start men with big SEX, right? Huh? What do you mean? Well, your boyfriend's got to get your consent for any kind of physical activity. I mean, oral, vaginal, and anal sex are all super obvious, but he also needs your explicit consent for activities like kissing, hugging, and touching. Whoa, seriously? Yep. Oh, also, you can change your mind at any time, for any reason, you know? Wait, like, even in the middle of doing it? Yep, it doesn't matter. If you suddenly want to step for any reason at all, your partner has to listen to you. And, you know, you gotta listen to them, too. Respect and communication go both ways. Oh, wow. That actually kind of makes me feel better in a way. I'm glad I could talk to you a little bit about it, then. I know, it's a super, super awkward topic, but if I can help you feel a little bit better, you know, that's what big sisters are for. You mean you're not just good for taking the last cookie out of the cabinet or leaving your shoes right in front of the door so I always trip on my way inside? Hey, big sisters can be about a lot of things at once, you know? It's called multitasking. (laughs) Come on, Eve. (sighs) Oh, it's Steve. (laughs) <laughs> Ugh, I am so done with boys. <laughs> Let Steve be salty. He'll be okay. Speaking of boys, there's my ride. Whatever, I'm just gonna play video games. You know, you can always talk to me if this guy's being too pushy. No matter what happens, it's really not your fault. And, you know, you can talk to mom and dad. Maybe you have a cool teacher or something. Really, any adult you trust can help out. Okay, okay, I got it, Eve. Don't keep your super hot boyfriend waiting for you. Oh, come on. He's totally dreaming. Who does that?